friends, it's Cloud Quartz. Today I'm gonna try doing my first tutorial video. I had a request on my cover of Cave Town's Things That Make It Warm to do a breakdown of the quartz and little plucky bits, so that's what I'm gonna do. So first I'm gonna tell you the quartz that you need and show you how to make them, and then I'll talk about the chord progression throughout the song, and then I will break down the little plucky, plucky parts that are throughout. So first of all, you only need four chords to play this song. It's pretty simple. So the first chord you need is D. And I like to do D by doing the second fret on the top three strings. So it's just one, two, three on the second fret. And you don't use the bottom string. And then it sounds like this. And that's a D. And then the next chord that you're going to need is a G. Um, so to do that, you just take two little bunny rabbit fingers and you do the second fret fourth string and the second fret second string and then with your third finger you do the third fret third string and that sounds like this after that you're going to need e7 so for e7 you just do the first fret first string and then you take your little bunny fingers again but this time with your third and fourth finger and you do second fret second string and second fret fourth string, leaving the third string open. And that sounds like this. And then the last chord you need is A. And A, you just need the second fret, first string, and first fret, second string. And then the rest is open. Sounds like this. Ta -da! And that's all the chords that you need to play this song. So throughout this song, there is a verse, and then a chorus, and then a verse, and then a chorus. For the verses, you start with D. And then you're gonna use E7, and then G, and then D again. And then I'll show you how to kind of fit the plucky bits in between those chord changes. Um, but those are your chords for the verses. For the refrain, the chords you're gonna use are first G, then D, then E7, and then A, and then you're gonna go G again, D, and then A, and then end on E7. And then you go back to the verse. So that's the chord progression for that. So let's talk about the plucky parts that go in between. So it starts off with this bit that sounds like this. So you're just on your bottom string. It starts on the fourth fret. So it's a fret right before the little dot on the ukulele. And you just kind of have to slide your finger. You pluck the string and slide your finger to the fifth fret and then back all while that one note is resonating. Um, this took me a lot of practice to get down and sometimes I'll like reinforce my finger with a second finger um, just to make sure that I'm really getting the best sound. Um, so you just do that little slide slide and then you go to the second fret and that's that so it's So fourth fret slide up to fifth fret back to fourth fret and then second fret And then that leads into your D chord so you go And then for the next bit of the plucking, you've got, um, you're heading into your E7 chord, which is this one. And all you have to do is on the bottom string, you're gonna pluck, um, just open and then first fret, and then you'll strum your E7. So it's kind of like open, first, second, but you're strumming the entire chord for that second bit. So you've got your, first E7. So then the next bit is you're heading into your G chord and so you're gonna do the third string open and then the second fret and then you're gonna strum your G chord. So once again it's kind of like open second third but on the third you're actually strumming the full chord for G. So then put it all together and you've got just 
one bit left before you've got the whole verse down and that is just open top string open bottom string and then your d chord and then you go back to this so if we put it all together it goes like this do that for the whole verse and then when you get to the end of the verse and you're leading into the chorus so you've done I like to do the um, third string open second fret G again to lead into the refrain so it go and then the refrain when I the way I play it doesn't have any extra plucky bits so it's just G D, E7, A, G, D, A, E7, and then you're going back into their frame, so you just do this again. And that's it. That's the whole song. You just repeat that uh, for your second verse, and then your second refrain, and then... At the end, I know he ends with this kind of like tremolo, so I think it's G, and you just kind of like rub your fingertip against the strings to make this kind of soft, sustained sound. That's how I ended mine, because it's kind of what it sounds like in his version. So, yeah, I hope that that made sense and was helpful at all. If you want to check out my cover of it, I'll put the link um, here and probably in the description as well. Uh, let me know in the comments if any of this made no sense or if you have questions. Um, I This is pretty fun for me, so I would love to do more. If you guys have any other tutorials you want to see, I could even do tutorials of my original songs. If there's anything that I'm really bad at, let me know so that I can uh, get better at it and make sure that I'm explaining things in a way that actually makes sense to people. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and... I hope that you have a wonderful day. Goodbye!